Hello YouTube, I hope everybody doing spectacular. Today is a really nice sunny day outside. And but we're expecting some ice and snow from Europe. So anyway, today's video is about these two little guys. These are custom made for a customer of mine in Australia. Terry, thank you very much for your support. He actually also bought not one but two of my Nixie clocks. And uh, thanks to actually Peter, also from Australia, who sent me a whole bunch of Nixie tubes to get me actually started with Nixie tubes. Uh, otherwise, I would not have built these clocks. I have other ones as well, kitchen timer and so on. I all made videos about those. But today's video is about this little guy here. It is a humidity display. Um, Terry has an aquarium and he needed waterproof sensors. These are waterproof, believe it or not. And he uh, the requirement was two meter of cable. So I found this for him, ordered them. And they are I2 square. And since my board has obviously I2 square, they just plug in here into the I2 square port. This port is for uploading code and it runs on USB type C. And um, in case you're wondering, this is my OLED decade, a tiny gaming console with four games on it. And uh, Tetris, Flappy Bird breakout and octopus in case you're wondering or wanted to know so this is it it is a humidity display and i'm actually gonna make one for myself for my 3d printer since i'm 3d printing now with uh, tpu these awesome prints i wanted to see how much humidity i have in my enclosure anyway so, oops, very simple. He just wanted a full percent readout. I could also do 0.1 or 0.2 uh, decimals readout. And um, his request was just like that. And um, yeah, this is actually pretty much it. And I have two for him. Uh, this could run on batteries, but he's gonna obviously run it non-stop or I don't know, maybe during the day So they are just directly powered to the Type-C port with 5 volt, obviously And this is it. I also bought some enclosures for him uh, The smaller one, unfortunately, did not fit by 1 millimeters, and the bigger one is actually pretty much a different in size so he will get these of course I have four and two sensors and he will because he has I as far as I understood uh, a wood bracket behind the uh, aquarium or terrarium and he will figure out something the best way to mount this in for himself he's also an engineer so I'm sure he will figure the best way out um, on the smaller one, I initially thought just making a cutout for the display and putting it in here and making a cutout for the Type-C and for the cable, but it did not fit. And on the bigger one, it was just too big and I couldn't figure a good way to mount this in here, uh, except printing a whole big frame behind it, but just, I don't know, sometimes you have... You have to get the right idea to do something, uh, otherwise it's just gonna not look good or not work out good. So anyway, this is it. Yeah, I will pack these up nicely and ship it out to him to Australia. And uh, in case you're wondering, this is my uh, keychain, Chrysler 300C. Uh, that's my RC police light. This is just a code running on a MakerFabs board. I do have also my uh, V8 styled clock with LED matrix uh, display. One side shows time, the other side shows date. And it has 
animation of the pistons and also the dots for the firing of the each piston and uh, that's also the one tube nixie clock uh, it comes also with wireless charging where you can just put it on a wireless charging pad like i have my oled clock which has a so you can see a wireless charging on the bottom so you don't have to plug it in and it has this nice glass prism on it and that's sitting here and running for 24 7 and if you're interested in any of these please uh, leave them in the comments your question and i also do get questions about custom work which i obviously do and i reply and then i never hear back from those people and uh, i don't know why if my mail is not getting through or what but uh, anyway why are you asking if you don't want to hear the answer or i don't know anyway um if you do like my work please do support me the easiest is very easy doesn't cost you anything just hit the like button i mean i'm doing all this work of course this is i'm doing my living with it but still uh how hard is it to hit the like button or hit the hate button they should have a hate button i will i'm sure not just thumb down but a hate button that's what you do should do youtube put a hate button on them underneath the videos that will get way more hits than the like buttons anyway uh next uh next step in supporting me would be subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so you get obviously notify uh not notification notified when i upload a new video next step would be to hit the small button the thanks button or buy me coffee or patreon or go to my tindy store and check some out my some of my products and um i do have twenty thousand. oh i was gonna say um you can also support me through patreon and i have still five people one two three four five people that support me on patreon and i get really jealous when i see other youtubers with those hundreds of people supporting them on patreon if i would have that many supporters i would do this for free you could ask me i want a humidity sensor i want temperature i want whatever if i would because believe it or not i do like designing pcbs and i would design a pcb for you build it and send it for you for free if i can support myself through youtube by itself i wouldn't have to i mean i could still make products and sell them but if you have something special you want i would give it to you make it for you give it to you for free i have twenty thousand supporters uh, not so <laughs> i'm sorry 20,000 uh, subscribers, not supporters, subscri well, they support, but uh, if each subscriber would send me 10 cents a month, 10 cents, not a dollar, a dollar is a huge amount, 10 cents, I mean, I'm sure if you see 10 cents on the floor when you walk, you don't even bend down to pick it up, just t send me 10 cents, if those subscribers would do that, I could make this for free I would do it for free but uh, unfortunately society doesn't work like that you get more subscribers more money if you show body parts uh, anyway this is it um, I hope you liked it at least hit the like button if you have any questions leave them in the comments I respond to 99.9% .9 of my comments and um, yeah that's it i wish you weekend coming up i wish you a great weekend enjoy yourself and take care everybody